like me, you probably have a lot of kitchen utensils and small appliances, and you likely don't use most of them very often. I know I have a ton, and I always reach for the same ones over and over again. You might also have a whole cabinet full of small appliances like I do. It's a bit of a mess, but this guy right here, my crock pot, I use all the time. I love him, he makes dinner so much easier for me. But every time I come in here to pull him out, I see this little guy right next to him, my waffle iron. And I always kind of feel bad for him because he never gets used. He just sits there on the shelf and he waits for me to pick him up, but I never do. So I decided I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna make this little guy the star of the show for once. So I found some really great recipes that are quick and easy and they utilize the waffle iron. So I decided I'm gonna create a small series of videos utilizing my waffle iron as the star of the show and I'm gonna make some dinners with him. So it's not going to be just breakfast waffles. I'm gonna show you how you can actually use this guy to make some really great meals for your family. So come along with me and I hope you enjoy. So I know I said that the waffle iron was gonna be the star of the show and all these recipes and I promise you he is. However, for the first recipe, he is going to use a little bit of help from my friend, the crock pot. I figured the two of them, they sit in that cabinet together all the time, right next to each other. So they must be close, right? So it only made sense to make a recipe with both of them. So what I'm gonna make first are some chicken quesadillas. But before I put the quesadillas into the waffle iron, I'm gonna go ahead and cook my chicken in the crock pot. So I'm gonna add some onion to the bottom of the crock pot. We don't like other vegetables in our tacos or fajitas or quesadillas. So just gonna start with some onion, put the chicken on top of that, along with some taco seasoning. I'm gonna let that cook this afternoon until it's done. And then I'll go ahead and we'll assemble our quesadillas and get them into the crock pot. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. First, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my crock pot with some non-stick spray. And like I said, I'm gonna start by adding some onions to the bottom of the crock pot. And then I'll add on my chicken and they actually had fajita seasoning this time at Walmart when I went, so I was pretty excited about that. So I'm gonna put some fajita seasoning on top of that and I'm just gonna let this cook until the chicken is done. At this point, my chicken was done cooking, so I just went ahead and pulled it out of the crock pot to shred it on a plate. I didn't want to shred it in the crock pot because you don't want your chicken to be too juicy, because if you do, you're just going to have soggy quesadillas. So I pulled it out, went ahead and shredded it, and then I pulled out a couple of onions as well, so I could put those in the quesadilla too. So at this point, I was ready to go ahead and start building my quesadillas. So I had preheated my waffle iron before I started. I have settings of one through five on my iron. I chose to use a setting of three. And then I took my two small flour tortillas and I put oil on one side of each. I just use olive oil. I, for the first one, I put the oil side down, put my chicken in it and my cheese. I didn't use onion in this one, but I did in the second and it was delicious. Then I just went ahead and I put oil on one side of the other tortilla, put that into the waffle iron with the oil side up and closed it. I cooked it for about two and a half to three minutes. And it's really important when you first start to cook it that you hold down the latch on the waffle iron because you wanna make sure that you're really sealing your two tortillas together. If you don't hold it down, there's a chance that they may not actually adhere to one another. So you wanna get that cheese nice and melty and adhere to one another. Then I went ahead and pulled it out when it was nice and golden brown, and I cut it up into four little pieces. Okay, so that was super easy. Look how good that looks. The cheese came out all melted. I only left it in there for probably two to three minutes, so not very long. 
So I'm not a big fan of salsa or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of sour cream on my plate. And we're gonna try it, let's see how it turned out. It's so good. It's not that juicy because I took a lot of the, I took the chicken out of the juice, but it's really good. It's just like a normal quesadilla. And yes, it took me a while just to, to cook the chicken in the crock pot, but you could easily just use a rotisserie chicken if you had one, throw it in there with some onion or just some cheese or some peppers if you like that. This would be great with like guacamole. That's really good. I better eat this before my husband comes in because he's gonna want one too. Hope you'll try this. It's a really cool recipe, super easy and delicious. So my husband picked up these wraps from Walmart today and they are three carbs each. They're a little bit bigger than the others, but yep, eight grams dietary fiber. So three net carbs on this. They're a little bit bigger than the waffle iron. So it went over the side just a little bit, but I think he likes okay. it. It's good. Yeah. yeah. So since we tend to try to do low carb, you can see our dog Frankie, he really wants it. He likes quesadillas, but so you can do this low carb. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go make myself another one and make it a low carb option. Enjoy. Tomorrow I'm gonna film another video. So it'll be number two in my series for how to use your waffle iron. Have a good night.